welcome back to the channel so here's something I missed in this announcement I was wondering just where is AS2's land package and it was an application I'm pretty sure this is an actual going by their announcement company has acquired the Yari lithium project covering 1700 square kilometers thereabouts um, yeah next to all these ones da 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 so we'll go back to this announcement so here it is, very big land package. Um, like as other companies flown over this area and thought, no, we don't want that land. There's no pegmatites that I can see from this helicopter coming out of the ground. We'll give it a miss. I'm not sure. That's a question I'll have to ring up and ask. The actual numbers are here for the people at the company. Whether they'll uh, talk to you, they might be too busy. Who knows? Um, so pretty much, there's been. Uh, lava flowing under the ground cr through the cracks in the rocks millions of years ago and it's left behind lithium that's just a very dumb way to say it and these got to f guys got to find those cracks in the rocks with lithium they might first fly it says how they're going to do it here I think the uh, initial expression will include comprehensive data review sentinel satellite imagery program ahead of a plan soil sampling rock sampling so they'll just drive around a motorbike pick up rocks um, obviously the person driving around knows what it rocks to pick up. I think they're white in colour, from my uneducated opinion. Um, no expression, no drilling, so they could uncover something massive. This could be your golden ticket. And AS2, I didn't jump in and buy them because I was waiting to find out where that land package is, and now I might. But another question I want to ask, if I haven't already said this, is how did you guys get the land and not someone else? So 10 million, that's not correct, I think they're more like 15 million. Always check on the ASX website to see a more, I'm pretty sure this one's always correct, the mark cap for AS2, which here is 15 million, and cash, cash, command F, cash, 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 oh, they got 3 and almost four million in cash okay so that's pretty good to know they can probably get some pay some guy on a motorbike to drive around do all that before they get drilling um... Yari so they probably don't have any pictures of Yari so yeah it's a pretty good golden ticket here I say they find something massive it could very go well for this company and it's probably the lowest fifteen million for a land package that size in this area is pretty cheap in my opinion and you get the four million in cash as well so what else can we say about this strong evidence supports geological model of s such as a potential lithium mineralization to occur within the current exploration license area so yes this quite ticks my boxes as still a lot of risk there might be nothing there who knows like maybe these guys get enough like we're gonna need a lot of lithium but in 10 years time it's not that we don't have lithium it's that we haven't been getting it out of the ground so another thing lithium carbonate whatever is around 30,000 a ton probably when it gets to 60,000 it means it's a super cycle and you sell out like that's when you sell out when the metal price goes so high don't just think oh it's gonna go higher because it's not that you sell out you buy low sell high so buying low is buying a little explorer before they find anything and yeah it's a bit riskier but you can buy a big company and they can go down just quite as easy because it's more certain I don't know well I won't go there so anyway saying about these granite greenstone terrain prominent rock type this is much similar to what GLA GL1 probably posted when they were first searching so yeah, take a punt. I probably will be taking a punt on this thing. Probably not more than ten percent of my portfolio. Um, but better be putting that ten percent in. Well, who knows? And there's still a lot of years to go. So, marble bar lithium project, ten million tons. I think that's an inferred resource, so they need to drill it out more. So these guys will need to look around the motorbikes. Probably take a year, maybe six months. They say, yeah, do we want to drill here? 
yep, we'll drill here. They do it. Maybe they miss. Maybe they hit. Maybe they hit a good spot. They say, oh, this spot looks good. We'll drill it again. And then they find a bit, and they say, oh, this is good here. The share price by that time goes up a bit, and then they drill more. And then they have to keep drilling. And by that time, they have plenty of money because they can raise money quite easily because people are more more inclined to give money because they have something there and then they build the mine hundred million dollars and many other projects maybe got a four year payback period but lithium is so hot that if they're doing it in a hot market you could have a one year payback period and it's got a small a small capex so they don't need to raise a billion dollars which will kill dilute your share they can just raise hundred million like CXO did Core Lithium just raised 100 million, and they're probably going to make 50 to 100 million dollars a year. Pay that mine back, use that money to find more lithium, and probably do that for the lithium to stay strong. And they want to make themselves into a low-cost producer, so it's all good now. You can sell lithium at a high price, but in years to come, when everyone's got lithium, you need to be the low-cost producer. But that will be probably the next decade or two. You might uneducated opinion so I'll be taking a punt on this stock I'd say tomorrow sort of glad I didn't jump in before I saw this um, who knows it could dizzle down and good there won't be any big news I'd say I've looked at the other projects they have they're really small really small land packages so very sur surprised this is quite big they'll probably drizzle down and maybe three months time they bring an announcement about um, finding lithium there or something, I don't know. Um, just things being things, I don't see a big announcement coming out of the Yarry Lithium project for a bit time, so it can drizzle away. Who knows where the share price will go, it probably won't jump up straight away. I'm probably just talking a lot of crap now, so anyway, take a punt, just put it in there, member that be prepared to lose that if you're gonna put money in I'm um, this is a comedy sketch not financial advice if you put money in there be prepared to lose it because this company you could be sitting here in two years time saying oh they didn't find anything I got no money I put everything into them that's just silly if you don't put everything into them very silly you maybe put something just put money in there you, f you can lose okay and then also you wanna say you have six shots in your gun you only want to use one shot on this Ascari metals and also if you use one shot on them and they do go 10x and you use another shot on another company and that other company doesn't go very well um, that 10x is paid for that loss plus you got another 8x to play with so that's just how I look at it but you have to also find a company that's going to probably do well for various other reasons and hard rock companies in Western Australia will do well because it's proven at scale to get to lithium, battery grade lithium. Unlike DLE, which I see a lot of companies struggle to do it at scale just yet. But that could change, so that's another risk. But do your own study, you need to be familiar with DLE, um, hard rock mines, and things like that. So that's it for me. Um, hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, someone commented this company here, Morella. Um, projects. So I think this was Altura, and Altura had to sell their mine. Go back to here. Altura had a mine around here somewhere, and the bank said, um, because this was when the lithium price was bad, no one was buying lithium during COVID. They said, We want our money back, sell the mine, we want our money back. So they sold it for $2 million. I mean, they put it up for auction, whatever. PLS bought it at $2 million. If that didn't happen, they just waited it out. Altura probably would have been a billion dollar company right now because they had about 40 million tons and a mine but now that belongs to PLS. Wajina also shot down but they're about to come back on now with a good lithium price probably make a fair bit of money. Um, what else can I say? So anyway back to Morella which I know started up again out of Altura I think Lena, so they I think they have a fifty percent share in this with SYA. So tenements live, tenements pending. They got a bit of land, so 
They also, I think the market cap is 150 million, which is pretty high for what they have, in my opinion. But there might be more to it. Might be thing I'm missing, but it, who knows? Do your own research. I might look into this more. Doesn't excite me quite a lot just yet. I'm pretty excited on AS2. Not to say AS2 can drop down, drizzle down back to 20 cents until an announcement comes out, or maybe people get hyped on lithium. So that's the chance you take that. Or you could not buy it and it goes up and you never get a chance to buy it low again. But yeah, people are impatient and who knows? It's all a game. So that's it from me. Um, just remember buy low, sell high. This is, you'd think this is high, but this company is a $15 million company. And the high is when they, when they do or don't find the lithium, you'll know when the high is. Buy low, sell high. If the, metal price of that company you're doing so if you in a iron ore share let's take FMG for example you look at the start that you know that all they do is iron ore they actually get out of the ground for fifteen dollars sell it for like a hundred dollars so they print money but iron ore if you look that price this correlates with the iron ore price iron ore is at two hundred dollars a ton it's up here drop down a hundred dollars a ton same to the share price so don't get caught up in the dividends because remember, sell high, buy low, vice versa, and you have a better chance of knowing when to buy high and sell low if you study the company, <laughs> know what they're doing, um, and just put two and two together. So that's it from me, and good night.